Hello Woodland Montessori. I hope you're all doing really well and helping your parents and your families and getting outside. And I'm really excited to share this book with you because we read it the last week that we were in school. It's called The Longest Night by Marion Dane Bauer. And if you remember, it has lots of different characters in the story and they each have a different voice that they say and a different instrument. So the first character that we meet is the crow. And he says, ka, ka. And you're going to need two spoons like this. Ka, ka. And the next character you're going to meet is the moose. And he says, humph, humph. And you're going to need a pot and a wooden spoon like this, ready? Humph, humph. And the next character we meet is the fox. And the fox says, you need your two big rocks like this. Yep, yep. And then we have the chickadee, the star of the story. And for the chickadee, you're going to need a shaker. Dee, dee. And at the very end, we hope, is the sun. And you're going to need a glass of water and a spoon, like that. And there is one more character in the story that does not have a musical instrument that you only use your voice. And I know some of you were thinking of this already and you're going to tell me. And it is the wind and the wind says, Shashi, Shashu, every time the wind speaks. So here we go. The Longest Night by Marion Dane Bauer, illustrated by Ted Lewin. The snow lies deep, the night is long and long, the stars are ice, the moon is frost, and all the world is still. Bear sleep, as do the velvet mice. A moon shadow lies by every tree, thin as a hungry wolf. Shashi, whines the wind, the better wind. Shashu, cold and dark now rule. Cold and dark now rule. Who's this guy? Ah! Ah! That's the crow. Get your spoons. Gone, cause the crow. The night dark crow. Gah! Ah! So long the sun's been gone. I saw it slink. I saw it sneak. I saw it creep behind a cloud and go to sleep. But I'm the one. I know how to bring back the sun, said the crow. Spoons. Ah, ah. I'll fly with my strong wings to reach the clouds. I'll poke with my sharp beak and wake up the sun. Not you, says the wind. Shashi, shashu, not you. Who's this guy? The moose. Get your pot, get your wooden spoon. Gone, says the moose. Hump, hump. The mighty moose, I know the sun is gone. I saw it slip, I saw it slide, I saw it plunge from the bowl of the sky and disappear behind a hill. But I'm the one. I know how to bring back the sun. I have legs long enough to reach that hill. I have antlers strong enough to scoop up that sun and bring it home, said the moose. Wump, wump. Not you, says the wind. Not you. Shashi, shashu. Gone barks the fox, the clever fox. Your rocks? Yep, yep. The sun is too long gone. Someone must search, someone must seek, someone must find the hole that the sun climbed into. I'm 
the one. I know how to bring back the sun. I have a nose keen enough to sniff out the sun's hiding place, paws quick enough to dig it up, teeth sharp enough to grab the sun and toss it back into the sky, said the fox. Yip, yip. Not you, says the wind. Shashi, shashu, not you. The night is long and long, says the chickadee. The sun is gone and gone. If not crow or moose or fox, then who? Who can bring back the sun? Get your shaker. See, see. Only you, says the wind. Only you. Me, says the chickadee. See, see. Her, cries the crow and the moose and the fox. Shashi answers the wind, Shashu, and the chickadee hears, only you. Where is she? Where's the chickadee? Can you find the chickadee? I thought it was on this page. Nope, not on this page. We'll keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> the little bird knows she can't fly all the way to the sun. Her beak isn't strong enough to poke it awake, and she can't climb or scoop and sniff or dig or toss the sun into the sky, so she does instead what chickadees do best, and she sings. Chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee, chickadee dee dee. You guys know this. What kind of a noise is that? said the crow. Ah, ah. The sun won't listen to such nonsense, said the moose. Hump. said the fox. Yip! Yip! Only D, says the chickadee. Only D. Here's the chickadee. And this, there it is. D, D! And a star melts away, and then another, and the frosty moon pauses, snagged in the branches of a tree, and the world holds its breath, waiting. Slowly, slowly, the sun opens his eyes. He stretches, he tilts his head, listening. Who sings in the cold and the dark, he says. Who indeed whispers the wind? Shashi, Shashu, and the sun smiles. Slowly, slowly, fingers of light peel back the blanket of darkness. Fingers of light grasp the edge of the world and slowly, slowly, the sun lifts himself into the sky. Thank you, sun, sings the chickadee. Thank you, sun, echoes the world. And with the song of one small bird and the sun's answering smile, the journey towards spring begins. You can play this song one more time. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I wanna give a big shout out to Samantha because it's her birthday today and say that we miss all of you and we hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day, everybody. Okay, thanks. <laughs>